Yeah, hello, this is Dave from CheapBooks.com, and this video is about how to get experience in World of Tanks and how to do it as quickly as possible. I'm going to have 24 different tips on how to get EXP as quickly as possible. One way to get more experience is to have what is called a premium account, and a premium account has different benefits. Uh, Two of the major benefits are you get a 50% bonus to experience and you get a 50% bonus to crew experience. And there's a third main uh, benefit, which is you get a bonus to the amount of credits that you earn. Uh, so if you want to do it, you can buy it for one day period of time, uh, which is the option down here at the bottom. It probably costs a couple dollars. And then they have 3 days, 7 day, 14 day, 30 day, 90, 180, 360. I'm pretty sure that 360 days is around $100. And sometimes they do offer discounts. I've gotten 360 days for half price. I've gotten it for $50 before. Uh, so this is one way to do it. And uh, obviously the more time you buy, the more value you get. Another way to earn EXP is to use something that is called a personal reserve. And a personal reserve is a bonus that you receive when playing the game, but it only lasts for a short period of time. They have one hour, two hour, three hour, and four hour personal reserves. Uh, there's different ways to acquire personal reserves. You can earn them by playing the game, which means you'll have some sort of a mission to complete, which might be just to play one battle. Uh, you can buy them, uh, you can earn them in contests, uh, and you can earn them in missions, and they can be given away as prizes, for example, during holiday uh, season. So, for example, over here you can get 10 uh, battle EXP personal reserves. Uh, you purchase it for 2,000 gold, uh, and it gives you a 100% bonus to your experience for two hours. Uh, basically, what's, what that's doing is it's doubling your base EXP. Another way to get more EXP is to play better. If you have better games, you're going to earn more EXP. If you spot more, if you, do, if you track the enemy tanks more often, and if you do more damage, you will get more EXP. There's some things that you do that don't give you a lot of EXP. For example, uh, Getting a kill during a game doesn't give you a large EXP bonus. Capping uh, usually doesn't give you a large EXP bonus, uh, but doing damage definitely does. Doing assistance damage, which means tracking damage and spotting damage, definitely does. So as you can see here, I have a tank here, the IS-7. I've played 10 battles. I've get an average of 910 XP per battle, and that's without bonuses. Uh, so if you play well, you'll get more EXP. Every day there is a bonus in the game uh, for your first victory. And that bonus is, e is usually a, a double bonus. It's a times two bonus. If you look at your tanks, there's a little icon that says times two. And there's a button over here that says times two that you can turn on and off. Uh, that means you're getting double bonus for your base EXP. Uh, for your first victory, which means you have to win the battle. So you want to have a good game on your first victory. If you have a bad game and you get a double EXP, it's not going to be a big bonus. Sometimes they have a triple EXP. I've seen four times EXP, and sometimes they have five times EXP. The triple EXP is usually on the weekends. They usually have a five times EXP on holidays, such as the 4th of July, Thanksgiving, Christmas, New Year's, etc. Sometimes they do bonuses where you get the two times EXP for every battle, but they might only do that perhaps once a year. There's a, a feature in the game called assistance damage. And what that means is that you're helping your team do damage to other tanks. And one of the ways to do that is to spot an enemy tank or to track it, which is to shoot its track to disable it temporarily. Now, if you do it to a tank that has a lot of hit points, 
you you have a potential of, of getting a lot of assistance damage. So what you want to do is if you see a tank that has a lot of hit points, when you shoot at it, you can hit the track instead of hitting the tank, which will uh, disable it, maybe leave it vulnerable, and perhaps a lot of your allies will be able to shoot at it, depending on what the situation is, where your allies are positioned. And if that happens, you can get a lot of tracking damage really fast. For example, if you're a low-tier tank, you can hit uh, a, a tank that has a lot of hit points, and one of your allies that has a really powerful gun can hit it once with a high amount of damage, and you can get a lot more damage through assistance damage than you can through firing your own gun. In addition, if let's say you can only fire your own gun once every 10 seconds, but if you've got 14 allies on your team, they could potentially be firing every second. So if you track a, an enemy tank for 10 seconds, you could be earning lots of damage over the course of 10 seconds while you're reloading by your allies uh, doing damage to that tank. There's a feature in the game called converting combat experience to free experience. And what's going to happen is, over the course of the game, you're going to have tanks, uh, such as these on this list, that have earned experience, but they're only applicable to that tank. And what you can do is transfer that to another tank. In order to do it, you do have to pay. There's an exchange rate. It costs one gold for 25 EXP. And sometimes they offer bonuses where it'll be one gold for 35 EXP or one gold. I think they did for 45 EXP over Christmas, but I'm not sure. So if you want the best value, you wait until they have the, the one gold for 35 EXP offer and you transfer that to your free EXP and you use that um, for any tank as experience. Uh, so they offer the discount maybe once every two months or on the holidays and things like that. And you can do it at the regular rate at any time. If you are a lower tier tank and you do damage to a higher tier tank, you get more experience than if you damage a tank of the same tier or if you damage a tank of a lower tier. So what you can do is target higher tier tanks. Now you're going to say, well, your gun can't penetrate their armor well, it can't penetrate the front of their armor, but it can easily penetrate the sides and the rear of their armor. So what you do is you set up flanking maneuvers. If you watch my videos, you'll see I do it all the time. And in fact, the reason why I did it was because I was tired of being the weaker tank. So I was finding ways to get around to the side of the enemy or behind the enemy from a distance. So if you, sh if you do damage to a higher tier tank, you earn more experience. Every tank, or almost every tank, has options for more than one gun. Sometimes you'll see two different guns, or three different guns, or four different guns, and you're going to notice that they have different penetrations. The higher the penetration, the more likely you're going to cause damage to an enemy tank. You might cause less damage, you might cause more damage, but the point is you increase your chance of doing damage by having a gun that does a higher penetration, which gives you an advantage in the game. Some guns will do substantially more damage than the stock gun. So leveling up your gun to a higher penetrating gun or the highest penetrating gun will earn you more EXP in every game. There's a consumable called a fire extinguisher, and you have the manual fire extinguisher and the automatic fire extinguisher. The automatic fire extinguisher will keep you alive during the game because what will happen is one out of every 50 games, someone's going to hit your engine and it's going to set you on fire. Or if you have certain tanks like Chinese heavy tanks or, or Soviet tank destroyers, you might set on fire easily. If you have full health and you get set on fire, your tank will explode. So by having the fire extinguisher or anything that protects your ammo rack, you decrease the chance of losing lots of damage, which means you're going to stay in the game longer and give you more opportunity to earn more EXP. So use automatic fire extinguishers and anything that protects your ammo rack. Every tank has a crew, and the minimum uh, crew that you can uh, add to a tank has 50%. And it is possible to go under 50%, but that's the minimum that you, where you can create a crew member. You can create 50% or 75% or 80% or 90% or 100%, and you can even go over 100% with uh, various bonuses. The better your crew is, 
the more experience you're going to earn because your gun will be more accurate. You'll be able to spot further. Your camo will work better and you'll have other skills and basic gameplay functions that are going to work better. You'll see if you have a bad crew, like I'm going to switch the crew over here. You'll notice that what happens is on the right, some of the, uh, some of the specifications are going to become red, which means that there's an, a modifier that's reduced because the crew member is poor. And if I put in a better crew member, it's going to change back to white, which means that it has a normal uh, modification for performance. So play your tanks with the best crew possible, and you'll get more EXP per game. Anything that increases spotting uh, ability will earn you more experience in the game. Because what happens is when you spot tanks and your allies damage them, you earn experience every time that happens. So you want equipment such as coated optics, binox, and you want crew skills such as situational awareness and recon. And you want to have your crew performing to the best as possible. So improve your spotting range, not camo range, not your camo, but your spotting range. And you will get more spotting damage and you will earn more EXP. Tanks, most tanks have more than one choice. <coughs> most tanks that <coughs> most tanks have more than one choice for ammunition. This particular tank has two choices. The ammunition that has a higher penetration is going to do damage more often because it's going to penetrate more often. It's going to be more expensive for you to play with that ammo. However, you're going to earn more EXP with ammunition that penetrates at a higher uh, frequency. So use higher penetrating ammunition whenever you can. In A couple of years ago, they used to do discounts on ammunition. I haven't seen one in like two years but if you occasionally, it might happen again. If you see a discount on ammunition, buy as much ammunition as you can, uh, premium ammunition for your tank. There's a feature in the game called capping, and what that means is that you capture the enemy base. In general, if you capture the enemy base, you're going to earn less EXP as opposed to killing all the enemy tanks. Uh, and the reason why is because uh, it's it's considered higher skill for the player to damage a tank as opposed to capturing an enemy enemy base. Uh, anybody can capture an enemy base. A tank with one hit point, tier one in a tier 10 game, can capture an enemy base. It's not a high skill uh, maneuver, so you are awarded less hit points for capturing an enemy base or for a game that ends in a draw or a game that ends in a loss. So try to do as much damage as you can. However, make sure you win the game. If you have to cap to win the game, then do so, because losing the game will cost you a lot more experience than uh, winning by capping. You want to win the game. There's a bonus, which might be 50%, depending on um, what game mode you play. There's team battles and and there's grand battle and random battle and frontline. Depending what uh, mode you play, there might be a different calculation uh, for your bonus. So if you're playing in random battles, there's a bonus if you win the game. So you want to avoid losing the game and avoid draws. Make sure you win those games. And if you play frontline, there's an option to move up a level uh, they have like lieutenant and captain and general, etc. And if you move up that level, you get a bonus, and the bonuses can become substantial. I believe that the bonus might be a 100% or 200% bonus to your EXP if you become, for example, a general. Uh, so make sure if you, if you play frontline, try those other modes. Uh, if you play a team battle mode, you also might earn a lot of EXP bonuses playing team battles. There's a feature in the game called a mission, and a mission is an activity that you can complete that's usually very simple that will award you some sort of a prize or a reward. Uh, for example, this one is if you damage two vehicles in one game and you do it with this particular tank, which is a Kronwagen, then you get a 1.3 modifier to your combat experience. So that means that if you get 1,000 EXP with the modifier, it would be 1,300 EXP if you complete the mission, which is to damage two vehicles with that particular tank. Uh, there will be some that are 
missions that are tied to a specific tank. There will be some that are for a class of tank, like it might be light tank week, or there might be other reasons why it might be available to all tanks. So look for those missions. Or another thing that they do is a branch. So the branch that leads up to the mouse might all have some sort of a discount. I'm sorry, a combat modifier. So look for those missions. You want to make sure that your tank is properly equipped, that you have the best crew skills, that you have camo painted on your tank, you use the proper consumables, you use the proper ammunition, and you use the um, consumables that can be purchased using bonds uh, to optimize your tank's performance to make it the best it could possibly be. It will improve your game and earn you more experience. If you want to know how to do all those things, you should probably refer to other videos. There's a feature in the game called a campaign, and a campaign is a series of missions that allow you to earn a free tank. And there's a lot of rewards that you can earn by completing each mission. For example, with this one, you can earn 4,000 free experience and two days of premium time, both of which will increase your experience. That 4,000 free experience you can use on any tank, and the two days of premium you can use as a 50% EXP bonus to all the games that you play. Uh, for example, with this one, you have to do 4,500 spotting damage, and you win that prize. And if you go through the different missions, like this one, here's another one with 4,000 free EXP and two-day premium time. Here's another one with 4,000 EXP, two-day premium time. Here's another one with the same. So you'll find those missions in the campaigns. There's two different types of campaigns. Uh, there's the the first one and the second one, and in both type of campaign, you're going to find that there are rewards that will include uh, experience. Right now, we are in the middle of the Christmas holiday, and there is a Christmas event. And if you play during these types of events, you can earn special bonuses that will earn you more experience. One is that there will be more five times bonuses for your first victory of the day. There will be combat modifiers. For example, you see here it says that there's level rewards, and you come over here and you see that there's all these different rewards, and there's something called a festive atmosphere. And over here it says that there's a discount on that tank. This one has, uh, you, earn, you earn personal reserves for additional experience per battle. But the other thing that happens is I get a 40% bonus to all of my experience in every game because I made it to level 10 on the fe festive atmosphere. And obviously the other levels, you're going to earn lower bonuses. But what happens is uh, when you uh, win a game, you come over here. I, I don't have any games in play. You look at the details after a game, and you'll see that there's a bonus for the holiday. It's called a holiday ops bonus. So you'll have the five times events. You'll get the combat modifier events, which this is, and you'll be able to win prizes such as personal reserves, which is, as I showed you, uh, prizes here in the level re rewards. Uh, there's personal reserves as prizes for almost every level. There's another feature in the game that sometimes they make available and sometimes they might not make available, where you can invite a new player, invite a friend, and if he signs up and you play with him, you'll get a bonus. I think it's a two times bonus or a 1.5 bonus. It, it, it's a sliding scale, so you might not get it for every game, and it might be a larger bonus for the first 48 hours or something like that, or for the first week or the first 30 days. But if you invite a new player and you play with that person, uh, a lot of games, you'll both get bonuses to your EXP. So that's another way that you can get more EXP is by inviting new players to the game. There's a feature in the game called a platoon, and this is the platoon window. You can platoon with up to three players. They would be listed here on the left. My name is listed first. And what you can do is you can platoon with other players. And they used to give bonuses for platoons. I don't know if they're still doing it. You had to play more than one game uh, with a player. They may, may have ended that promotion. But the idea is that you, there was a promotion, which may still be ongoing, where you get a bonus for platooning with people. 
but you also if you platoon with people and you watch each other's back and you become friends and you learn each other's playing styles you're going to increase your survival rate you're going to have better games you're going to cooperate with things like spotting damage you're going to help each other get kills and do more damage and you're going to have better games and you're going to earn me ex more exp simply by platooning with someone the biggest key to earning exp is to win win games you get the most exp and if you lose games you get a big cut in your exp so for example if you have a mediocre game you might get 700 exp in a high level tank but if you lose the game if you have a mediocre game and win you might get 700 exp but if you have a mediocre game and lose you might only get 200 exp so it's a big difference if you lose a game. And what happens is that's base EXP. So when you have your premium time and the festive atmosphere and your personal reserves and the combat bonuses and all the bonuses combined, it's all based on the score you get for having a good game. So you can get, I've gotten 10,000 EXP in one game before because I had a really good game with a five times bonus and all sorts of other bonuses. And I've probably had higher games, but 10,000 is pretty common when you get a good game with a good tank with a five times bonus weekend, etc.